we can count two states, all right? So we can count the number zero and the number one. And we call that mod two. All right, so I'm gonna start by showing you how we would count from zero to one, and then we'll continue to add to it. Okay, so this is the pen or a schematic representation of a JK flip-flop. The preset and clear are asynchronous and they are active low. The clock is rising edge triggered. All right? So I don't know if you remember from your diagram, but a JK flip-flop, if both inputs are one, We say that is the toggle state. So every time it comes past the rising edge of the clock in this case and J is 1 and K is 1, Q will just change states. It will just toggle from one state to the other. We don't want to use right now the preset and clear, so to do that what I'd like to do is I just want to tie them out or turn them off. And so to do that, I would connect them to 5 volts. I'm going to take my clock and run it to an input from my clock. On your parallax board, that's also called the pulse generator. Okay. And... I'm going to take Q and run it to one of my LEDs. And then I'm going to take J and K and run them to, I want them to just always be one, so I'm just going to tie them both to 5 volts as well because I want to keep them in the toggle state. All right, so. Basically, this will make a zero to one up counter. All right, so let's look at what the timing diagram would look like there. Okay, so if that's my clock, all right, and J and K are in the toggle state, and this is Q. Remember that Q is only triggered at the rising edge since I don't have my preset and clear turned on. They're asynchronous, but I don't have them turned on. I have them turned to five volts, so they're just disengaged right now. How's this gonna work? So Q's coming along, and let's just say coming into this edge of the clock, it was already at one. Okay, and the clock goes high, Q looks at J and K, which are in the toggle state, so it's going to change to this, and again, it's going to move straight across until it gets to the rising edge. J and K are still one, so it's still in the toggle state, so it will change back to one, all right? And this continues to happen over and over. So this is not only a counting circuit, it's what we call the divide by two circuit. So here it's zero, here it's one. Here it's zero, here it's one. So here the LED is off, and here my LED is on. All right, so this would be the mod two counter. All right, 
right, so I hope that that helps you see how we use that as a counter. In the next video, we'll talk about how to expand our up counter.